presentation of Fox Sports. We are Fox Sports. We are LA. It's been a tough home stand for the Angels. It ends tonight as we wrap up this three game series against the St. Louis Cardinals. The Angels trying to get that offense going, and tonight they will turn the ball over to Jared Weaver. See if they could sneak one out before heading up to Seattle. Hi, everybody, from inside the Big A. We welcome you back to Angels Baseball here on Fox Sports West. I'm Victor Rojas along with my partner. Mark Gubas and I just mentioned Jared Weaver's on the mound for the Angels trying to right the ship if you will and he'll be opposed by Adam Wainwright I tell you what five years ago this would have been an unbelievable matchup of terrific starting pitchers and aces different type of pitchers now both of them each yeah Victor a lot of fun to watch these guys they're very good competitors both of them they both will throw a lot of all speed pitches and Weaver's been very good so so far this season especially using his curveball which is going to be set up by his changeup fastball we're not going to talk about velocity just talk about location of that setting up that changeup setting up that curveball but his slider has been very good too command of the fastball in the upper part of the strike zone important to set up that curveball and speaking of curveballs Adam Wainwright doesn't throw quite as hard as he used to very good mechanics but he has a great 12 to 6 break of ball himself he's been throwing the ball a little better of late coming back from that surgery last season will go upstairs with his fastball both these guys have been 20 game winners in their career twice for Wainwright once for Weaver both have had successful seasons to wrap their careers it's going to be a lot of fun to watch these guys go out there and compete above all both at six foot seven it should be a lot of fun to watch a jump ball between the two especially <laughs> with the playoffs going on now in the NBA and with the way the St. Louis Cardinals have swung the bats the first two games of this series Weaver will need that off speed pitch going tonight as we're just about ready for baseball here at the Big A sit back and relax we're going to bring you the lineups and the first pitch when we return.
We welcome you back out to the Big A, the finale of this three-game set between the Halos and the Redbirds. And uh, St. Louis taking the first two games by the finals of 8-1 to one and 5-2. to two. The Angels' offense continues to sputter along. 31 hits so far through the first five games of this homestand, only five extra base hits. And uh, the situation with men in scoring position continues to haunt the Angels. Brandon Moss certainly happy because he's got the off day today. Yeah, he, he likes his Metallica. Yes, he does. Got to appreciate that. 250 batting average for the Angels with men in scoring position. And um, as Moss continues Man, he to is entertain rocking us. out. Dig it. Is. Jared Weaver just about ready to take the mound. A little bit uh, later than normal. Weaver's usually one of those guys that uh, is right on time. But we've seen that all of a sudden on this uh, homestand. Starting pitchers taking a little time before coming out there and throwing that first pitch. I love to run out there as quick as possible. You know, that way I don't, I don't have to think too much. Just go right out from the bullpen, go to the mound, and ready to go. Yeah, don't think, just throw. Yes. Right? <laughs> the old exactly. adage, right? Yes. Make sure you're breathing out of the right eyelid. Yes. Often. We were taking a mound, and we'll check out Mike Matheny's lineup for the St. Louis Cardinals. 18 and 16 now this season. At the start of the day, third place in the National League Central seven and a half games back and they will have Matt Carpenter leading things off play in third Stephen Piscotti at right Matt Holliday will DH tonight Matt Adams is at first base Yadier Molina behind the plate Jeremy Hasselbaker is in left field Randall Gritchick in center Colton Wong the second baseman and Aldemis Diaz is the shortstop batting ninth as they take on Weaver making his seventh start of the season he's three and one 4.72 ERA, 43 hits allowed in 34 and a third innings, 19 strikeouts, nine walks. Yeah, just talking about him in the opening, a guy that can pitch so well, compete so well, but my go-to is for Weave to be successful against this Cardinal offense, change of pace. That means the curveball and change up in that position to be very effective in the heart of a champion. And that's what Weaver has and what you need from him to be able to win here in this game against the Cards. Take a look at the defense for the Angels. Daniel Nava left, Mike Trout at center, Cole Calhoun in right, the infield, Yunel Escobar and Cliff Pennington on the left side. Johnny Giavatella, CJ Crone on the right, Carlos Perez behind the plate. And Daniel Nava out in the outfit. Anytime Weaves on the mound, you're going to see some fly ball action. He's one of five Angels to start in that left field position. Saw him a lot in spring. Came back here early on, they got hurt with that knee, but one outfield assist, very good as far as coverage and very good accurate throwing arm. Matt Carpenter ready to lead things off. We mentioned in the open, we mentioned in the last couple of games, this is a St. Louis Cardinals team that has not hesitated in swinging the bats. It'll be interesting, the matchup tonight, because of Weaver's ability to really keep hitters off balance with the off-speed stuff, and you would think that that would be something prevalent early on and establish it early. Victor, both these pitchers, when the hitters have had success against them, have swung the bat early in counts. I think it's important for both certainly for Weaver to be able to throw his breaking ball and change up first pitch and then sneak that fastball in at certain counts. Kind of pitch backwards. First one's in for a strike. Carpenter hitting 260, six home runs, 22 runs batted in. 0 for 2 last night with a sack fly and a sacrifice bunt. There's that slow breaking ball. And it's no balls, two strikes. Such a good feel for that pitch. And it's a very difficult pitch to have a feel right away in the game. There comes the 0-2 from Weaver. And that's a ground ball toward the second base side. It's Cliff Pennington, the shortstop, thrown on to first for the first out. Hey, my Hyundai key for this game for Angels to be successful, especially with Weave on the mound. Well, Kelvin Harris, this is what you came for. You want to see your ace on that mound with a chance to beat a very good offense and a very good pitcher going against you in, in Wainwright and this Cardinal team. Piscotti takes down and away. The right fielder at 323 with five home runs and 22 runs batted in. There's 10 doubles and a triple on the year. Both the hit game last night with a couple of singles. He swings and misses on that slow breaking pitch. It's one ball, one strike. And that shift work, the Angels coming into this game with 331 times they have put that defensive shift on. It worked for Weaver on that one because an all speed pitch. Got him Carpenter to pull the ball. 
Two balls, one strike. Weaver's coming off a no decision against the Rays. Went six innings, allowed two runs, one earned, six hits, had five strikeouts and one walk, 203 pitches in that start. Two balls, two strikes. We were 2 0 oh at home this year, defeating Texas and Kansas City. So, breaking pitch out toward left. Nava comes in a couple of steps, two down. He knew we were talking about him, being the defensive guy out there. Runs in and makes the play on that fly ball. You're going to see a lot of fly balls against Weaves, especially off the end of the bat. When he's throwing well, pop ups in the infield, shallow flies into the outfield. Base is clear for Holiday. Cardinals DH interleague play. St. Louis will uh, just head up the freeway, take on the Dodgers beginning tomorrow. Angels will get on the bird tonight and head up to Seattle. Early morning arrival in Seattle. Night game tomorrow night, of course. Holiday pops it up on the infield. CJ Crone comes charging in. And a 1 2 3 inning for Weaver. We'll head to the bottom of the first. Escobar, Calhoun, and Trout coming up for the Angels for scoreless. First, a 1 2 3 inning for Weaver. We'll check out Social's lineup for the Angels. The Angels now 13 and 20 on the season, in the midst of this uh, five game losing streak. They'll have Escobar in third base, Calhoun at right, Trout at center, Pujols DHing. He played first base last night. Navas in left, Crone at first, Giavatel at second, Perez, he's actually for the first time in the series. He's behind the plate. Cliff Pennington, the starting shortstop tonight, as they take on a 34 year old right hander native of Brunswick, Georgia. Adam Wainwright is his name. And Wainwright fastball is 88 to 92. Cut fastball, curveball, changeup. A lot of all speed pitches from Wainwright. The, my go to is to be successful against him. Be aggressive on the first pitch. That first pitch swinging, hitting over 500 against him and barrel up that cutter. He likes to throw his cut fastball away. First one to Escobar is back up the middle, and it's a leadoff single. Defensively, Hazel Baker and left Gritcher can center for Scotty and right for St. Louis. Carpenter, Diaz, Wong, and Adams around the infield from third to first. Molina behind the dish. Wainwright, one of the best fielding pitchers, has two gold gloves, one with an 09 in 2013. He's allowed no stolen bases this year, only 12 total stolen bases in the last four seasons. When you think about it, a right handed pitcher, six foot seven, still does not give up any stolen bases very quick to play helps having Molina behind the plate but very very quick very athletic three-time all-star facing Cole Calhoun with a man at first Cole takes a strike 
Cole's been slumping here of late. Three for his last 17. Average of 286. Couple of home runs, 13 runs batted in. Cole last night one for four. The Angels managed a total of four hits. It's Garcia, Segrist, and Rosenthal. 0 oh, 2. And with two strikes, they shift. Carpenter goes from third base over to the second base side, and then Diaz becomes the lone fielder on the left. That tells you one thing his go to out pitch is going to be something off speed. Because if it's going to be a fastball, you have a better chance to hit that ball to the left side of the field. O2 pitch. This is down and away. It's a one two count. And with her head, especially with two strikes, the bulk of his pitches have been the breaking ball, especially to lefties. When you think about percentages of pitches thrown this season by Wainwright, 37% have been fastballs. Now 30 percent cut fastball 30 percent curveball and also will throw his changeup in there not as much but he will th still throw his changeup Trout on deck leadoff single for you now Escobar he's at first ground ball right towards short Diaz has it flips it to Carpenter for one the relay in time a double play two down. Double plays continue to haunt the Angels. And they've been putting the ball in play. We talked about that a lot. Some contact. Again, a lot of double plays. That was the 38th the Angels have hit into this year. So travel bat with the bases clear. Fastball first strike. Mike at 303. Six doubles, a triple, seven home runs, 23 runs batted in. He was hitless last night. Good rip at a fastball at 93. There's no balls and two strikes, and what you will get from both guys on the mound tonight. A couple of fighters. Yeah. While Wainwright can still get it into the low 90s, Weaver can't, but still will fight you tooth and nail. 0 2. Breaking ball rolled over to third. Carpenter has it across the diamond, and the Angels are done here in the first. Play to the second, still scoreless.
up the second inning. Hey, folks, you can host a business function or celebrate a special occasion in your own private suite here at the Big A. Sweet Rentals offer all-inclusive food and beverage packages. Visit angels.com slash sweets for more info. And just like we thought, we were starting off a power hitter with a slow curveball. Adams can hit a fastball a long way. Adams fouls it back. Count remains. No balls, two strikes. Big first baseman hitting 266. Batted in the sixth spot on the order last night. Went one for four with a single and an RBI. And a couple, three fastballs, as a matter of fact, in a row. That went upstairs at 84. Now you can set him up with a slow curveball. A change up. Read that one well. Adams hooks one down the line, and this one is foul. The top spin lob that just hooked foul. Still out in front. Two, two. Full count. That is a call strike three. Weaver gets the benefit of the call there. That pitch looked to be a little bit off the plate. But it's the first out here in the second. Well, when you're around the strike zone a lot like Weaver is and his reputation of being around the strike zone, you'll get those borderline calls clearly a little bit off the outside corner. Credit Carlos Perez for doing a nice job of quietly trying to keep that ball close and off to the strike zone to get the call. And it's one of those stats you see in baseball right now, how many pitches a catcher can get called for the strike that aren't in the strike zone. Yadier Molina looks at a breaking ball for a strike. Multi-hit game last night. As a matter of fact, he's had that in both games in the series. Raises average at 325. Takes a change of blow. Ten doubles, a triple, and 12 runs batted in for Molina. And two surgeries on the left hand, left thumb, September and in December. I think they were, he was going to be ready to play to start the season and answered the bell, if you will. And aside from uh, Diaz, he's been their best hitter. He is extremely good on anything elevated in the strike zone. Exactly what Weaver's trying to do, although Weaver a lot of times will throw his fastball upper part of the strike zone. He's staying down, whether it's his curveball, slider, or changeup in this at bat against Molina. You look at Carlos is looking at the foot where it's going to be placed by Molina, seeing if he's going to try to sneak in on the plate, move up on the plate if it's going to be a breaking ball. He's going fastball in. And he jammed him. Out to shallow right. Givatelli going out, but it's Cole Calhoun calling him off. Two down. And again, sometimes you see a hitter try to move up in a batter's box because they're thinking curveball. And it's a good decision by Carlos to go fastball in, even though it's 82. Molina's looking off speed. He got beat by an 82 mile an hour fastball from Weaver.
Hazel Baker coming up now. He's the left fielder. 282 with six home runs and 14 runs batted in. Signed last year as a minor league free agent. Twenty eight year old got the start and left Tuesday night. Going to go and go for four with a walk. Two eighty two. No balls two strikes. Jerry Davis has the uh, Jerry Davis strike zone working tonight. A couple of veterans that know how to pitch. Foul the back. Davis by the plate, ravishing Rob Drake at first. Carlos Torres at second. Corey Blazer at third. Davis, the crew chief, behind the dish. One ball, two strikes. Break the ball hooked foul. So right now he's got everything going as far as his pitches, command. See a lot of odd swings. So the Cardinals. So difficult to stay back on a 66, 67 mile an hour curveball. Even though you know he throws a lot of them, it's still very difficult because that good downward action he has on that pitch. Missed down it away to even the count. Jared's retired the first five to start the ball game. A lot more foul balls in the second inning than there was in the first. He threw 10 pitches in the first, 20 so far here in the second. This one skied to shallow right. Giovatella going out. Cole coming in. Calls off Johnny. And a 1 2 3 inning for Weaver. That's 6 up, 6 down. We'll head to the bottom of the second with no score. But the second six up six down for Weaver Wade Wright a lead off single Escobar a double play ball and then a ground down to get out of the first you'll face Pujols Nava and Crow and for the Angels here in the second. Albert last night one for four with a single in the seventh. 185 average. 
He's two for his last 21. Well, you got two pitches that don't waste time. Attack the strike zone. One and two. Still a pretty good approach by Albert trying to go the other way. A cut fastball. And he's looking to shoot that ball to right field. Talked about that in the pregame show today. Try to drive that cut fastball to right center field for Albert. Albert just got a piece of that. And it's one and two. Wainwright last year pitched in seven games. Had just four starts after his first four starts this season, ruptured his Achilles. Cost him 2015. That was coming off a 20 win season in 2014 when he was 29 in 32 starts and had a 2.38 ERA. Remember, one point was. Pitching out of the bullpen for a number of years with the Cardinals. Time was called. Originally, Atlanta Brave first round pick at a high school back in 2000. They traded in 2003. That was the uh, JD Drew trade. Come back into the mouth. About how well he fields his position. Good athlete. Played football, basketball, baseball. Even soccer, very good golfer. Middle school, played basketball with Kwame Brown. I'm sure there's every single shot that was missed had to be rebounded by, by those two guys. Yeah. Place kicker and wide receiver in high school. It's a big place kicker. Yeah. <laughs> Nava looks at a strike. Daniel five for 26 as an angel. That's a 192 average. No extra base hits, one RBI. Jam flare out to shallow left. Diaz racing out, goes to the backhand and makes a terrific sliding catch for round number two. Well, we were told coming into this series against the Cardinals that Diaz can really hit the baseball, but has been a little bit inconsistent with the glove. But we've seen him make some really good plays. It's a good read off the bat, the good angle he took. You know, slide to make that play on a pop up by Nava. It's all about the angle of going after that baseball to make that. Play on the pop up. Looks like for sure was going to fall in. Crone looks at a breaking ball for a strike. Crone 263 average, couple of home runs, 10 runs batted in. Two run home run of the fourth inning. Last night he had a one for three game. As you can notice with Molina behind the plate, he will also look at the batter to see exactly where he's setting up. Crow shoots one out to right field, but Piscotti was playing back. Makes the catch in a one, two, three inning for Carpenter. Well, into the third, scoreless.
top of the third. Timeless moment brought to you by Coors Banquet. This day in baseball, 1984. Mark Gubiza threw a four-hit shutdown to earn his first career win with the Kansas City Royals. 132 career wins, 20-game winner back in 1988. That was against the Red Sox. Yes, it was. Wade Boggs was in that lineup. And you didn't walk anybody. Well, which is in, in itself a miracle. No doubt. Yes. And you also had a four-hit shutout, apparently, with no walks. In your 100th win in 1992. Yes. I waited for those big moments. It was a timeless out. moment. Nice. <laughs> that a boy. <laughs> I wonder why you were reminiscing. It was actually unbelievable today that you received a package here from a fan in Kansas City, and he was having you sign baseballs from the 1985 World yeah, Series. Actual baseballs yeah. from the 85 World Series. Really cool. Yeah. Gritchick, Wong, and Diaz for the card here in the third. Took me a few starts to get that first win. As we were paints a fastball there against Gritchick. Lost my first game against Burt Bly Levin. Lost my second game against Dave Steve. So that was that was no fun going against those two guys. Low scoring affairs, I'm assuming. Yeah, I didn't give up, I gave up one unearned run in that game against Steve, lost. Gave up one against Bly Levin, lost. And then my third game, I get hit with a line drive off my kneecap by Cecil Cooper. And I'm thinking, you know what? I may not ever win. Cecil Cooper. Everyone said, he's a pretty good low ball hitter. I said, uh, well, I'm a sinker ball pitcher. That's not a good combo. Did and you rub it? <laughs> he flipped me in the air. I was down. Down goes Frazier. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good memory, though. Is there any black and white reel of that we can go back and revisit? <laughs> I remember Dick Hauser, our manager, comes out, ha has it feel. I go, you know what? I, I don't know if I feel my leg right now. Other than that, it feels good. Nice. Well, this thing called back in the day, you flip through. <laughs> oh. Norm. On what? <laughs> on stone. Norm's got it on stone. <laughs> Chiseled out. <laughs> Chiseled out, you're getting drilled. <laughs> A Flintstone moment. <laughs> Two, one. Wong fouls it off the left. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was actually giving me the name of that that thing back in the uh, what 30s and 40s or whatever. Oh yeah, <laughs> some sort of scope, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> uh. Wong fouls it up. Watch out, Ralphie. All right, buddy. Just making sure you're all right. Yeah. Just above us. Both these pitchers. We, if you're at home watching this game as a youngster, perfect pitchers to watch. You don't have to be overpowering. It's all about battling, changing speeds, hitting spots, range and speed so far. 85, best fastball, 66 on his curveball, and then a change up there at 74. That is pitching. Talked about it when we opened up in our opening, how much fun it could be to watch these two guys throw a perfect circle changeup. Looks like it's hittable. And then 74 cannot stay back and make contact from Weaver. Swung, swings and misses. Aledmus Diaz, the shortstop, hitting 382 with five home runs and 18 runs batted in. Hitless last night, 0 for 3, did have a sacrifice fly. It's 12 doubles on the season, one triple. Rookie shortstop out of Cuba. <laughs> Terrific uh, defensive play on Nava in the second. Well placed fastball there at 84 from Weaver. Again, it's hitting your spots with your fastball to set up a very good curveball, a plus changeup, and a very good slider he's been throwing this season. And that arm angle, we talked about it before, his arm angle, getting back to that arm slot he had at Long Beach State. 
foul back. Just got a piece of it. I mean, look how quick that arm motion is on his changeup. You're as a hitter, you're sitting back, you're thinking fastball, and you can see by that reaction even by Diaz, he barely got a piece of that one. 233 strikeouts back in 2010, which led the majors. That's when he was throwing in those low to mid 90s. Good play by a fan. One, two again. Breaking ball, got him swinging, and Weaver strikes out the side. He has four punch outs. He's faced nine. He's retired all nine. Still scoreless. is Mental Health Month. Fox Sports Supports is proud to team up with NAMI, the National Alliance of Mental Illness, and their commitment to improving the lives of families and those affected by mental health conditions. To learn more about how to be stigma-free, visit foxsportsupports.com. No score, bottom of the third. Weaver has faced nine. He's retired all nine with four strikeouts. The off-speed stuff has uh, been dazzling so far. Just enough on his fastball. Gets him out. Jamming hitters. Givitella hitting 197. A home run and six runs batted in. Johnny last night 0 for 4. Breaking ball drops in there. There's that big hammer from Wayne Wright. And you can see that bulldog mentality he has. Same look that Weaver has. He shoots one and glove by Adams playing off the line. Boy, off the bat, looked like destined to right field and a hit, but. It's the first out. It's a big first baseman using that entire body to make that play. And he was injured towards the end of the season last year. And we're missing a lot of guys, even though the big season as far as win totals going into the postseason, a lot of guys out showing good range on that one. Well, for sure, that's a base hit. Adams runs that one down. A quad injury last year for Adams. So one out, here's Perez. But still, that was a good swing from Gia Vitell, thinking line drive. More level swing.
Carlos at 159. Two doubles. He goes down swinging for round number two. First strikeout for Wainwright. Every moment matters during Patriotic Weekend, presented by State Farm as the Angels take on the Astros Friday, May 27th at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a red, white, and blue barbecue apron, courtesy of the coffee bean and tea leaf. While supplies last, get your tickets at angels.com today. Nice. We have to wear that in the opening. Oh, yeah. Go shirtless with just the apron. No, no, no. We'll keep our suits on though with the apron. Pennington shoots one out to left, a two-out single. So the apron underneath the suit jacket? No, just, just over. Be nice. You want to wear a chef hat? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Second hit allowed by Wainwright. Puts a man on. And top of the order coming up now in Escobar. A couple good swings this inning, really. Giovatello's line drive stayed back and hit it the other way. The same thing there with Pennington going the other way. Now with a single, so he's one for one. Duo pitch. Good strike. Good lead for Pennington over at first base. Breaking ball out toward the alley of left center field. Long run for Gritchick, and he won't get there. The fall in for him. Pennington all the way to third. Escobar trying to go to second, and Diaz had no idea. Yeah, no, no communication yeah. necessarily. A big break, because that could have been an easy play at second base. I'm going to go as a double for Escobar, but you're right. If anybody says anything at all to Diaz, Escobar is easily thrown out, or at least in a rundown. Yeah, Gritchick did a great job of getting that baseball in quickly. They know the reputation of Ron Redicky as a third base coach. He will be aggressive and send the runner home. A little bit different route for Gritchick. He went a longer route instead of going cutting the angle, but he did get it in quickly. And Diaz with the baseball then finally realizes they have a play at second. And Escobar picks up his 10th double of the season. Now two runners in scoring position for Cole Calhoun, who has been struggling lately. Big time to break out. Cole takes it off the plate. Double play ball for Calhoun in the first, so he's 0 for 1. This is a little looper, and beyond Diaz's reach, one run is in. Escobar's going to be waved in. The throw from Hazel Baker is up the line. 2 nothing Angels as Calhoun comes through. That's another good swing, not necessarily squared up, but going the other way for Cole. Picking up his 14th and 15th RBI with that single going to left center. Fastball, drifting out over the plate, looking to hit the ball that way. A level swing for Cole. It's that base hit in the left field, driving in two. Huge two runs. Shot 0 for 1. So check in on Calhoun over at first. No hesitation whatsoever for Renicki, even with Mike Trout coming to the plate. 
It's all about getting those scouting reports on arms in the outfield. One ball, no strikes. Good count right here to do some damage. 1-0 counts against Wainwright this year. Hitters coming in this game, 429, 6 for 14. Good count to get a fastball, do some damage. For the Angels, that was just their fourth hit with a man in scoring position on the homestand. Crowd takes low. Two balls, no strikes. First lead for the Angels. So it's the one nothing lead on Mother's Day against the Rays. <laughs> Missed up. Who holds on deck? Green light right here. Doesn't do it often. You think he'll give him something? Veteran, usually you don't, but he could make a mistake. I think that's the old pitch around. Yep. And we'll bring up Albert. First walk for Wade Wright. With Albert coming up now, it's time for In the Driver's Seat, brought to you by Kia. Albert. A lot of home runs in his career, 566. Homer against every 29 of the current 30 teams. Only one he is not homered against is old team, the Cardinals. Eight active players have homered against all 30 teams, including Brandon Boss or the Cardinals. Albert shoots from off the glove, ricochets towards Wong. He's got plenty of time. So that'll go as a 1 4 3. Put out, the inning comes to an end. But the Angels strike with the Calhoun single. End of the fourth, Angels up 2 0. As we begin the fourth, and uh, it's our pleasure to welcome in Jose Boda, kind enough to join us from the uh, Spanish side. Jose, welcome. I know it was a long walk, two boosts down. <laughs> to, uh, you had a breath? You sure. Yeah, I, got, I got my conditioning in. Did I'm good. Need some <laughs> oxygen? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, uh, Weaver on the mound. Nine up, nine down, four strikeouts. He's got the off speed stuff working early. He does. I like the separation, and mainly I saw an 85. I've seen some 83s. First eight pitches, repeated velocity one time. But also, guys, there's another factor here. It's called Jerry Davis. Yes. Who's no. calling those pitches that so many hitters complain about that are just close enough. And he's been consistent calling those corners. 
I think there's a foul. really there's two reasons behind that. Two veteran pitchers who throw a lot of strikes and two very good catchers who frame pitches that may be a little bit off the strike zone, but they keep their glove right there. They give the illusion as if it is a strike. Wayne Wright with one strikeout, one walk, four hits allowed. Now second time through the order. We mentioned that uh, in the open with the way the Cardinals have swung to bat not only in the series but over the last nine games out on the road which they've played very well but the off speed stuff was going to be prevalent I mean, you want to keep these guys as off balance as possible especially considering the first two games against the Angels you're absolutely right I mean you talk about comfortable swings all throughout a series the first three innings we see maybe two very good swings down the line Crone's got it waves off Weaver and there's the first out well the big thing when you think about it you got the Scotty Diaz Molina all hit extremely high uh, batting average here 400 against fastballs and then what you have for Weaver he's throwing all speed pitches to fastball hitters that's pitching right yeah I was <laughs> looking Victor at Molina took the first pitch breaking ball followed it all the way nicely into the glove then he was going to take the second pitch no matter what but he got beat by a fastball up and in at 83 miles an hour. Yeah. And that's a catcher for you, one of the best in the game. It's almost like the mentality has been uh, this one's lifted down the left field line. Nava drifting over. Maybe has a chance at it. He does. Two outs. Well, that stayed up a long, long yeah, time. Did. Fair ball. That corner, always that drift right back towards that foul pole. I was thinking that the uh, philosophy maybe for the Cardinals is to lay off fastball and try to sit breaking ball. At some point, we've seen teams do that, and hopefully at that point, then Weaver will get a chance to figure that out with Carlos behind the plate and start doing something different. Now, Jose, as a hitter, can you do that? Can you just sit curveball and change up? You can go out there and sit off speed and tell your body to react in a certain manner and tell your hands to stay back longer. And But you have to decide, that's what I'm going to do. And if you see a fastball, it might be that 81-83 and if your eagle gets in the way, you will get jammed. Yeah, that's what I thought happened to Molina. <laughs> yeah, you will get jammed. Because yeah. you're angry when you miss an 82 or 83. Holiday lifts one out toward right center field. Calhoun moving back on the warning track, and this one's gone. A home run for Matt Holiday. Opposite field home run, his fifth of the year, and it gets the Cardinals on the board. And that was a fastball there, pretty much the heart of the plate. And again, he's driven the ball very well in the series fastball especially lower part of the strike zone it hit hard not necessarily home run type swing like he did there but a lot of gap type swing on a fastball and even though this is a home run this is an approach of you know what, I got to let that ball get get a little bit deeper that ball is telling just enough inside but velocity allows him to think up speed stay behind the baseball think up on the field and there it goes and he got that foot down just as he cleared that bat path he is mighty strong of a hitter. This one queued up the third base line. Escobar has no play. That's an infield single for Adams. Just couldn't get the handle on the baseball, I suppose. And that spin we saw yeah. the last couple of games. As an infielder, there's a couple things you think about. The spin is going to take you towards that line. All your weight's going in that direction. And also where you started with a shift on Adams, you're better off just not taking a chance. And, you know, honestly, of course, we know, you know, Escobar's had a trouble with his arm angle making that play and making a better throw to first base and in that case you better off just saving it. Yeah you don't want to waste the throw at that point. Different throw from that shortstop position is the transition over to third base. He's done it in that last couple of seasons but a different throw. This one down the line fair ball just inside the bag and toward the corner Adams lumbering around toward third now up with it fires it in and Pennington will cut it off. It's a double for Molina. I think that was another off speed approach I do. That's pretty much saying he beat me with a fastball, but no matter what, I have to stay through the box, think late, and react. There it was. Yeah, especially because I was only in or half a down. Now, if it's away, it's a more difficult swing to do that. And just over the base and in the, down that line for a double. And his 11th double this season. Now, you're at a big moment of this game right now for Weaver. He's got to slow it down, slow down this momentum for the. Cardinals after your offense gets you a two nothing lead you've given one back got to try to maintain the lead now got the first two outs and they gave up the home run to Holiday and single to Adams and now the double to Molina his 11th of the season it's a 
been deceiving Victor at times. You go, wow, three consecutive hits. I mean, he made a good pitch on Adams. On Adams, yeah. <laughs> That's a base hit. Yep. Yeah, but you know what? When you're living in that zone where Weaver is at now over the last year plus, you're going to give up some of those hits, whether they stay on the infield or little flares out to the outfield. It's just the law of averages. Yes. Hazel Baker looks at a strike. Oh, for one with a fly ball to right. Well, a young hitter there. You have a fastball first pitch, fastball away. You can just drift a little bit further away, whether you want to go fastball or even a changeup. Especially with that open stance he has. He tried the changeup, but he brought that in and he brought it across his body a little bit longer. It's not a bad time to even repeat the same lane, a little bit more speed, because now the hitter's eyes are keyed in that area and thinking repeat. A little bit faster might get him out in jam. Breaking ball pulled foul. That one stayed up a little bit. And that's the thing with the curveball 66 to 70. If you miss location that pitch, and if you're like you said, you're looking curveball, you can adjust, even though you might be out in front enough. See that differential in speeds in this game. 85 best fastball, slowest curveball at 66. That's 19 mile an hour differential, which is good. But when you see a number of those between change ups and curveballs, you can stay back a little longer. Yeah, he backed up the change up with the breaking ball. One, two, and that's a flare to left. That'll score one. Molina's going to be waved in. Nava up with it. Fires it in, and not in time as Molina scores, and the Cardinals take a 3 to 2 lead. And not one cutoff man in the middle part of the infield because I think at that point you concede the run and you take the out at second base and you get out of the inning. There are so many moving pieces nowadays and guys sometimes looking around to see where they belong. But uh, once again, good piece of hitting. We're just talking about why not take this approach mark and here it is playing off. Weaver's the only guy in the middle of the infield. I mean, you've got a cutoff man there that's usually the third baseman's play. Escobar standing near the bag. The run may score anyway. Take the out. Escobar has to be in the middle of that diamond. Hazel Baker with two runs batted in now is 16 of the season. So man at second. Randall Gritchick at the plate. Breaking pitch foul back. All this with two outs. Nothing strange for the Cardinals, one of the best hitting teams in baseball, runners in scoring position. They just go out there and simplify things. Yeah, they came at batting 298 on the season, four for nine last night. When you look at their numbers, even behind the counts, still very consistent because they're not trying to pull the baseball as a pitcher. You're trying to hit the outer part of the plate, and they're going with the pitch. Like a little clear example of a John Mabry. Solid big league player, not a standout player himself. So had some good years, but he's got their ear, and they are down to the detail as to the cue words he uses that makes him click. Well, he was a hitter like that. He used the entire field. Yeah. That level swing he had. Left-handed bat. Clutch. There's John. Gritchick swinging a miss on the slider. That'll end the inning. But St. Louis with two outs scores three. They lead it 3 2 as we head to the bottom of the fourth.
Well, is back with another double header starting as Jose Altuve and the Astros take on David Ortiz and the Red Sox and American League Central rivals collide when the Twins square off against the Indians. In a game you can only see on FS1. It all starts at 9.30 a.m. Pacific on FS1 or watch it live on Fox Sports Go. I'm pretty sure if you're a pitcher going against the Red Sox right now, you might say, hey, I don't feel real good the way they're swinging the bats. Another 11 runs tonight after having 13 or more three games in a row against Oakland. That's the uh, first time I think I read somewhere that the Red Sox or a team had scored 10 or more runs in four straight games since the Red Sox did I think 2011 maybe. Prior to that it was the Mariners. They've been swinging the bat. That was Dallas Keuchel on the mound. Yeah. Houston Astros. A little different pitcher on the road but he hasn't been as effective at home either this year for the reigning Cy Young Award winner. As we talk about the angel struggles Victor. Mike Soldier keeps going back to the pitching, the pitching, the pitching. You know, at some point, when you're hitting, you can afford these early outbursts when your pitcher gives up a three or four spot. You got to hit. I mean, Boston, think about it. Their starters have the ninth highest DRA. Right. <laughs> but they hit. They score some runs. Yeah, I, I would, I would agree with the argument if it's a situation which we have had over the last couple of years on occasion. As Nava drives one high deep to right. Back on it is Piscotti. He's at the wall and gone. A big fly for Daniel Nava. First extra base hit as an angel, and it ties the score three. Boy, that was a long one, but a high home run by Nava. Great back. Great to see, like you mentioned, the offense responded, especially after two nothing lead. Your ace, your veteran pitcher, gives up that lead, but right away you come right back. It's supposed to be a changeup or something off speed, middle of the plate, middle in. Didn't miss it. We've seen some really good swings the last couple of innings for the Angels, Jose, and I'll tell you what, it's been very effective. And Nava himself usually hits a lot of balls to right field. He top spins it. This is one of the few times we see him get a lot of backspin on it and get that carry. Pro lined one out to right in his first at bat. But just back to our point about the social talking about the pitching. You know, in the past, we've had teams where the, the team would score runs, pitching would give up runs, the team would come back and score runs. And there's only so many times you can ask an offense to kind of dig you out from a hole. Right. That hasn't been the case for this Angels offense at all this year. Not at all. I mean, you got to go out there and balance it out. Th look at the New York Mets have outstanding pitching. We know all the youngsters and all that, but they're the worst hitting team with runners in scoring position. The balance is. They slug the baseball, the Mets, with men on base. Braun pulls one down the line. Fair ball into the corner. A hanging breaking ball, and Krohn will stroll into second with a double his third of the season. And what we're seeing right here is two veteran pitchers that have thrown a lot of innings and battle very well. But when you make mistakes with your pitches, off speed especially, it's going to get hit hard, especially when you're staying back. Double down the line, home run the right center field so far in this inning. Adam Wainwright is not going to make it a secret. He's going to throw you a curveball at some point. And once again, you might catch yourself thinking, well, if I see a fastball, I must swing. You don't have to swing if you have that mentality. Tony Gwynn, the late Tony Gwynn, told me at one point, this guy's best breaking ball is going to come at some point. Sit on it. And sometimes you got to let those fastballs go by. Bouncer toward third. Carpenter has it. It's a fair ball. Goes off the glove. That's an infield base hit. There's a little justice for Johnny. Is that the law of averages after that line drive he hit out? Now yeah. he gets an infield hit. Although hitters never say that's the truth. <laughs> Let's go back and take a look at that ground ball. It's worthy of a Carl's Cam replay right over the base. And you have to make that play even though you think it may go foul, but you have to knock it down just in case. Otherwise, that's down the line and a run scores and another guy in scoring position. He turns around quickly just to see if, if C.J. Crone would come to third. Good base running by Crone not coming to third. Can't force the issue there. Just be happy with the hit. And now you can have the Angels going back to the rollways here. Manufacture run, maybe square around, bunt, advance both runners. Yeah, this is a must bunt situation here. 1-0 count. Carlos a strikeout in the third. The only strikeout for Wainwright tonight. But it's got to be a pretty good bump because Wainwright fields his position extremely well. Well, keep in mind, National League teams are more 
in tune with all these plays and watching the slash and all the things that go along with the bunning game defensively than the American League team will see, American League team. So many pitchers, of course, squaring up in situations like this in their own league. There's a cat on the field. Oh, kitty. There it comes across. There it is. There, kitty, 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 kitty. Man, he is fast. No doubt. Something about the carnival and animals. He gone. <laughs> cat like quickness. <laughs> Where's a squirrel? <laughs> That's I don't St. think Louis. he's done. <laughs> he's still cruising. Can't see him, but just look no. at the reaction of the people. Yes. <laughs> he is fast. He must have landed somewhere. Somebody got him. Nice catch. Whoa. Yeah. That's a big cat, too. Isn't one of the old uh, the old bloopers in Seattle at the Kingdome, right? The, yeah. the cat, all yeah. of a sudden the guy, the guy the, the oh, cat well, starts clawing him. <laughs> Who hey. brought a cat to the yard? Take care of the kitty. Seriously. There's, there's a lot of them under the bleachers taking care of business after the games. A lot to clean up. Well, then on Twitter, there's some little dog that someone found and he kind of adopted him too this year recently again. Yeah. So, hey, that could be, hey, believe me, if we could score some runs this inning, that cat will be around for quite a while in the stadium. That's you for will, sure. You will see that picture of that cat <laughs> running across for a long time. Well, considering the way that things have gone for the Angels, thankfully it wasn't a black cat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then it would have been a story now. <laughs> 2 0 count on Perez. Bunts it foul. Hey, Mark, just watching as a pitcher, you know you have two guys breaking out of the corners, but from Carpenter, I see no anxiety whatsoever. He's pretty much allowing Carlos's bat's angle to dictate whether he's going to be crashing exactly. hard or his, not. His view, he can see it. I always like to play myself where I have my third baseman stay back, and I'm going to feel my position. I'm going to bust off that mound as quick as possible to get that third base side, be able to feel that and have a force out at third. Pennington's on deck. Nobody out. What Mike Matheny is doing here defensively is he's almost presented to Mike Sosha a crash play by design, but it's not. And that was a play right there. He was the anticipated potential hit and run. That's why he wanted to have that back pick potentially but he just wanted to see if there was any difference as far as turning around the bunt for Carlos Perez. Miss low three balls one strike now that was a crash from the right side on Adams. That's where Adams is saying I'll take control right to me to the pitcher and Carpenter still the third baseman stayed back. I mean, there's a couple different plays you can put on. And this is early in the game. You're still thinking in terms of I'll take it out at this point. But later in the game, you're always going to see that play where you're going to have to force out at third base at all costs if you can get it. It's a big decision here at 3 1. Drops a bunt toward Carpenter. They get the out, the sacrifice, and advances is thrown to third and see if it tell him the second. Even though that is a good fastball count to do some damage. I still like what Mike Sosha did there. Well, the Angels offense is in no position to get too pretty grounding into so many double plays. Play it safe. He did a real nice job. He's getting some high fives going back in to the dugout by getting this bunt down. Nice job playing basically playing catch with the bat and angling it right down there to be able to make sure the third baseman feels it. The one thing that helped him a strong top hand because that bat angle and that barrel were dropping. Strong top hand usually will take care of that. To bat speed of 39 miles per hour on that bunt. Perfect. Just wanted you to know. It's important that to know was, that. That was mine. <laughs> <laughs> For my bloopers. Pennington <laughs> fouls it off. He singled the left and scored in the third. Herb Artola Colon had a 98 mile an hour bat speed measure the other day on his home run. On the home run? Yes. I bet Bartola Colon a home run in Syndergaard with two. <laughs> Bartolo gave up a couple early today. Yeah, the Mets seem like they've been playing the Dodgers for about a month here. <laughs> Same with the Royals in New York. Yes. 
Cardinals will get on I-5 and head to LA Live and stay in SoCal. Yeah. The Angels trip is just a little bit further. Slightly. Seattle. Time called and now Molina and Wayne going to talk things over here. By the way, Jose, in the pregame show, Patrick asked, who's your guy that has a chance to do something special in this game? And you said Daniel Nava. Daniel Nava. Only How did you know that? Only because it's, you know it's time. Yes. It's time. Baby. It's Nava time? It's Nava time. Yes. Just pick, just pick a name out of the hat right now. Say, Nava, it's time. <laughs> Seriously, it's time for a lot of guys to start stepping up. Yeah. Hey, anybody can make the last out of the perfect game for the greatest movie of all time that Victor loves, for the love of the game. <laughs> you mean? Jose Moda up the middle makes an outstanding play. Let's see the scar. That is a base hit the right. Prone will score. Giovatella will be stopped. It's an RBI single for Pennington, and the Angels have retaken the lead. It's 4-3. to three. I have not seen this in a long time, gentlemen. Some really good swings, and a lot of energy here at the ballpark with the fans. Coming in, and we talked about a great pitching matchup as far as guys that have been successful throughout their careers. Now, all of a sudden, the hitters have taken center stage. And also, you have a guy like Weaver and Adam Wainwright. They're not going to shy away from the zone. As hitters, their stuff may not be as crisp, as fast, whatever you want to call it, but they're going to be in the zone. Be ready to hit. Yeah, they're not going to give up on a challenge. Oh. It doesn't matter if their stuff's not there or not. Both these pitchers are warriors. Rally Bucky might be losing its job to the cat, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> no kidding. Escobar with a single and a double. And has scored a run. Ground ball left side. Carpenter starts a double play. Adams can't come up with it. The run will score, and it's 5-3. to three. Well, That could be a huge play. At that point, the Cardinals may be able to get some momentum going. Instead, another run scores with that double play not being turned. That was as routine a double play as possible. Low throw by Colton Wong. He's got all the time, protection in the world. Look how far the runner is from him. And he's still backing away. Anytime you make a throw from that position and you're leaning back, there's going to be a little bit of trouble because you're not going to be able to finish off that throw. Short on it. You mentioned plenty of time to get rid of that. Throw. Nowadays, with all the protection you have as a middle infielder, there's absolutely no reason to be playing behind that bag. You got to have as much momentum as possible going forward. Big run by the Angels here. Gives Cole an opportunity to swing the bat. Also, who had a very good at bat as last time hit the ball the other way, drove in two. It was exactly that swing you saw right there. Jose, Billy Chapel, a good guy. Billy Chapel's great. Billy, Billy Chapel is a good yeah. guy. The other guy, too. Yeah. The real guy. <laughs> oh, Kevin Costner. <laughs> you guys are still on that movie. <laughs> well, he is. He's replaying it. <laughs> he loves that movie. <laughs> he thinks Billy Chapel's real. Wait a minute. Because he's, I he's was Gooby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Meaning, you know, the aging guy with the arm and the issues right. and, you know, working hard to stay in the game yeah. and so forth. And it kind of goes into what we're seeing here. Guys that have been very successful battling <laughs> still through in this game. Frankie pitch, full foul. We bring it all back. There's tying always a tie-in. In, yes. <laughs> all, tying it all together. <laughs> a great range on that play, though, by the way. Oh, man. It <laughs> took me about 13 tries to. Work on my range. <laughs> Three in the morning. Huh? Feel good over there, Victor. How's Victor doing? Oh, this pencil's going in my eye, I swear. <laughs> great range. Uh, the, great resi <laughs> the residuals are good, too, by the way. <laughs> That's all that matters. They keep coming. Cha-ching. <laughs> keep talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Be sure to download for the love of the game tonight. <laughs> Escobar over at first. One, two. Cole goes down swinging for the third down. But the Angels answer back. They get three runs. And it started with Daniel Nava getting his first extra base hit. It was a home run to right field. But it's the perfect swing. Got some lift on that. First home run as an Angel against Wainwright.
This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Subaru Loves Promise. Subaru's pledge is to do right by the communities in which we all live and work. And by El Pollo Loco. Try the new double chicken salads today. Halo's on top 5-3 as we begin the top of the fifth inning. Now we got things started. The home run to start the uh, bottom of the fourth. Helped out too by a, a low throw by this man here, Colton Wong. Brought in that last run. Two balls and no strikes. It's 8 9 and 1 for the Cardinals here in the fifth. Wong, Diaz, and Carpenter. Wong a strikeout victim in the third. That was the inning in which Weaver struck out the side. He has five strikeouts tonight, no walks. Four hits allowed, all four happening in the fourth inning. Little flare out to center, and it's a leadoff single for Colton Wong. Well, if there's ever a time you're looking for a shutdown inning, this has to be it for Weaver and the Angels. Going to go deep in the game, maintain the lead. Let Miss Diaz struck down in the third. Weaver got him on a slow breaking pitch. Gets one to start this at bat. It's one ball, no strikes. Diaz defecting from Cuba in 2012, signing with the Cardinals. Spring of 2014. Weaver would throw over there. Weaver with 25 career pickoffs. Snap throw to first and safe at first base. Quick tag by Crone. And Perez. Perfect throw. Quick tag. Looked like he got his hand on the base before the tag was applied. Both these catches very good on the back pick. Oh, a lot closer. Two balls, no strikes. Change up for a strike. Top part of the strike zone, two and one. Weaver retired the first 11 batters he faced to start the game before Holiday hit the home run out to right field. It's all about the footwork for Weaver to be successful with all those pickoffs he's had. Shortens up his throw. Wong takes off the slow breaking ball, roll to the left side. Escobar gloves it, has no play. An infield base hit for Diaz. So two on with nobody out. Top of the order, Matt Carpenter coming up. Well, how important is it for Matheny to have Wong going on that pitch? If he doesn't, there's a force out potentially at second base. Break a ball, upper part of the strike zone. But no play at first. Carpenter twice is grounded out tonight. Once a short, once the first. Uh -oh. 
75th pitch of the night for Jared. 52 have been strikes. Carpenter's rolling the two double plays. Weaver's got four turn for him this season. Generally a fly ball pitcher, but he has a knack for getting that ground ball in an infielder in key moments. Good speed on the bases for St. Louis with Wong at second. Diaz at first. Escobar in on the grass at third. No one. And that is hooked down the right field line, and this one is going to go. A three-run blast by Matt Carpenter. The Cardinals are back on top, six to five. Second home run of the series for Carpenter. That's his seventh of the season. Pardon me, third of the series. He had a multi-homer game in game one. Well, he just got that curveball. He might have been ended end up being a slider, I should say, down and in. The slider down and in. Right into that path for a left-handed batter. The barrel of the bat. We renew it. This one's out to left field. That'll get down for a base hit. So Piscotti's on board for the first time tonight. That's four straight hits against Weaver to start this fifth. Think about it. No hits for the first three innings for the Cardinals. Eight now. In the last inning plus. Charles Nagy paying a visit. Action down the Angels' bullpen. Greg Malley, first man up, the left-hander. Oh, wait, Matt Carpenter is the leadoff man, has 25 runs batted in for the St. Louis Cardinals. Look at 77 pitches, 21 in the second, but 18 in the fourth, 11 so far here in the fifth. No outs yet for Weave. Discussion going on here. Uh, Socha's coming out. Looks like they're going to make a, a defensive change. Brendan Ryan is coming out. I guess Cliff Pennington has been taken out of the game. So Pennington will take over. Pardon me, Ryan will take over for Pennington at short. Did you see something? No, something must have happened on the bases or so because he had two base hits in this game. Yeah. Two really good at bats for Cliff Pennington. He did have that slide at second base on that low throw from Wong over to the first base. There's Matt Holliday, one for two with a home run. Fouls it off. Home run for Holiday, his fifth of the year. 17 runs batted in. Scotty with pretty decent speed over at first. And that's driven out to center field. Trout racing back, and this one is gone. Second home run of the game for Matt Holiday. And it's 8 to 5 now, St. Louis. Again, to know it, another low fastball. Talked about that throughout the series. He's hit some line shots on low fastballs. That's a low fastball to dead center field. That's hit on the line. For Holiday to get it out of the ballpark at center field. Weaver will depart here without recording an out in the fifth inning. A pitching change with the Angels down eight to five.
This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Infinity. Visit your local Southern California Infinity retailer for a test drive today. By Heffernan Insurance Brokers, insurance and financial services for you and your business. Visit HeffINS.com. And by Energy Upgrade California. It's easy to stay golden at energyupgradeca.org. Eight to five. Cardinals lead it. Jared Weaver is done. But nobody out here in the fifth inning. It's Greg Malley taking over here in the fifth. Malley pitching in his 14th game, 1 0 record in a 2.61 ERA, 10 in the third inning, seven hits, eight strikeouts, and five walks. Pitched last night through a total of four pitches. First one to Adams is in there for a strike. Adams, one for two. Popped up. Ryan gives way to Escobar, makes the catch for out number one. When we look at back at this game, the first nine up, first nine down, four punch outs for Weave. Then you see the adjustments made by Cardinal hitters. That's second time through. And Carpenter's had himself a huge series. Molina with a double in his last at bat, one for two on the night. Even to count up at one ball, one strike. The fastball away. Evens up the count. Weaver, four innings plus five batters, nine hits, three of which were home runs. Holiday with two of them, 21st multi homer game of his career. Five strikeouts, no walks, eight runs all earned. 2 2. Check swing. They wanted appealing, did not go. Full count. Touch on it a little bit with Jose in the booth of the fourth inning about uh, the Cardinals hitters making adjustments. And uh, they certainly made the adjustments because we were retired, like we said, 11 guys to start the game. Picked up four strikeouts before that holiday home run. And Mallet just walks Molina with one out here in the fifth. And you can look at all the scouting reports you want as a hitter. But when you see what Weaver was throwing, he was throwing an excellent curveball and changeup, spotting his fastball early on, slider. Get back in there and the adjustment was made. They were going to sit off speed. He can even made the adjustment on some fastballs too. Matt Holiday in particular. Twice. Ground ball right side. Crone has it. Fires to second. No relay back to first. Hazel Baker replaces Molina at first base on the fielder's choice. Now there are two outs. A seesaw battle here in the fourth, third, fourth, and now fifth innings. Angels taking a two-nothing lead in the third to see the Cardinals drop a three spot in the fourth. Halos match that three spot at the bottom of the inning with five runs here in the fifth for St. Louis. Randall Gritchick, ninth man to bat this inning. Takes outside. Good back to back changes one just off the outside corner. That one a good one. 
will throw his changeup to right-handed batters, along with his slider and fastball. Usually stays with fastball slider to the lefties. Missed it. Two balls, two strikes. Handles to the bottom of the fifth. We'll have Trout Pujols and Nava coming up. Face Wainwright. Throw over to first. Hazel Baker's back. Two two. Richard pulls one past Escobar to the left. Till the inning continues. As the Cardinals have batted around here in the fifth inning. And the man has started it off with a single to center, Colton Wong coming to the plate. Stay back on that one. Well, another all speed pitch change up. Richard. It's that base hit by Escobar at third base. Tenth hit for St. Louis tonight. All these hits coming after it was two outs in the fourth with no hits. Wong one for two with a single and a strikeout. Malik trying to get that third out. He was back in the dugout. He falls behind now, three and zero. Oh. Third strike. Bullpen back out there again tonight. It's been the case for the last week and a half as Wong draws the walk. And this inning continues now. Bases loaded for Ledmus Diaz. <laughs> Angels bullpen 45 and two third innings of work over the last 11 games. We will add to that tonight. Twelfth time in 13 games that a starter has not worked six innings. Hence, the pileup of innings for the bullpen. They've been pretty effective. Now getting a lot, a lot of work in. He has a shortstop, swinging first pitch, grounds with a short. Brendan Ryan has it. Go the short way. And they force out Wong to end the inning. But a five spot for St. Louis here in the fifth puts them up eight to five.
Cardinals on top. Three run blast by Matt Carpenter. Evening to score up, and then all of a sudden the uh, Cardinals added two more. Three home runs in the series for Carpenter. Wayne Wright back out of the bump here, the bottom of the fifth. Trout pools at Nava. Mike's 0 for 1 with a ground down and a walk. Part of the strike zone that fastball at 89. Two balls, two strikes. Wayne Wright with a couple of strikeouts, a walk, eight hits allowed. The Angels with three in the uh, third and four in the fourth. Score their five runs, but the Cardinals offense answering back against Weaver. Ground ball right side. Long run over for Colton Wong. Has it, spins around, and throws it wildly. And Trout just ran into Rob Drake. Hopefully Trout's all right. No offense to Rob. But Trout a little more valuable. Walking back slowly towards the base. And Smith, Mike Sosha out of the dugout. That's like staring at a freight train coming at you. Long from that outfield grass. Trout always, if you watch enough of Mike Trout running down the baseline, always peels off to the right after touching the base at first base. Especially it just happened to be Rob Drake right there. When it's going to be a close play at first, he always does that. Single for Trout. And Pujols up, 0 for 2. Eight runs, ten hits, four left on for the Redbirds. Five runs, nine hits, three left on for the Angels. So a lot of cut fastballs away. Forcing Albert to hit the ball to the right side of the field. Did his last bat, hit it well. Again, another cut fastball off the outside corner. Last of bat stayed back in the well, shot that ball hard up the middle off the glove of Wayne Wright. Eventually over to Wong to retire Albert at first, but it was a good swing. Breaking pitch, foul back. Got him out in front. Imagine he goes right back to a cut fastball away now. Field single for Trout. He's over at first. Halo's down three here in the fifth. Two balls and two strikes. A 
much shorter stance, a more closed stance for Albert than when he came up with the Cardinals and had the heyday with the Cardinals. He took up pretty much the entire batter's box with that stance of his. As he cuts through the fastball and he goes down swinging for round number one. And Daniel Nava coming up. Now it's time for Tools in the Trade, brought to you by Ram Trucks. His last at bat against Wayne Wright. Pitch on the inner half of the plate. That's a great lift to it. First career home run as an angel at the right center field for Daniel Nava. Get another extra base hit here. Nice job of creating that lift on that pitch. Cutter in. One for two with that home run. His first extra base hit, just the second extra base hit by an Angels left fielder this year. Throw to first, Trout's back. <laughs> Drake, Drake flinching on that one as that throw was toward him. <laughs> you blame him? Someone from the uh, Cardinals bench uh, talking with him. <laughs> Flinchy McFlinch over there. Yeah, now. wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> the ball is two strikes. 75th pitch of the night for uh, Wainwright. 49 of its strikes. Times the reason why you threw that fastball and you want to throw a cut fastball the following pitch on the inner half. Still the one ball, two strike count. Crow not deck. Hazel Baker and Gritchick at left and center, respectively, both shallow. The Scotty deeper and right. Been a battle throughout this whole game for Greenberg. They've come in having given up 48 hits and 40 innings of work through seven starts, two and three record. I think surprising right handed batters written 326 against him with four home runs. Nava pulls one to the right of base head, Trout. They had the second and stopped right there. The ball gets by Piscotti. Trout should come in to score. Nava's on his way to third. And it goes a single and a two base error, and it's eight to six Cardinals. The break going to be just first and second. Instead, a run scores, and a man now at third base with one out. Kind of took his eye off the baseball. The ball stayed low. And a lot of times when you see the way this, it looks good on TV, the way the outfield grass is cut. But sometimes if you take your eye off the ball, it moves differently than it would be if it was a straight cut. And that's looked like exactly what happened. You take your eye off the baseball with a different cut of the grass. You're going to get a different action on the baseball. Piscotti's first error of the season, the 29th committed by St. Louis. 
I was charging that ball as if maybe Trout had ideas of going to third. But even off the bat, Trout was content to be at second yeah. base. You can see the difference in the way the outfield grass is cut. Different angles. You're going to have a different roll off the bat and off the ball sometimes. Yeah, you watch base hits, especially a sharp base hits that just roll out in the outfield grass. They just snake through the grass because of the uh, the way that cut grass is cut. There's Crone infield back for St. Louis, and he flips it out toward right center field, tailing away from Great Chick, and that'll get down for extra bases. Nava in to score, and all of a sudden the Angels just down one. It's eight to seven, Cardinals. Tell you what, there has been some outstanding swings in this game for the Angel hitters using the entire field. That's a perfect swing for Crone. He's just looking to make contact. He's got a man at third. It's a cut fastball away and drives the ball even though he lost the lower hand he still was able to drive out in the right center field for a double second double of the game fourth in the season for cj crone soon one oh was up last inning he's back up once again Chivatello swinging from his heels comes up empty his last couple of swings he stayed back swung down on the baseball line drives that time, Johnny drops the back shoulder, lifts the front shoulder, try to uppercut that one. Think in terms middle of the field. One for two tonight. A line out and a base hit. This one's popped up on the infield. Adams calling for it. Two down. Boy, and that swing we're going to talk about with Johnny. The last two at bats in this inning, very good as far as hitting down on the baseball. Let's look at that front shoulder. As you can see right there, stop guys always pulling that front shoulder right there, pulling that front shoulder open, and then it creates that hitch being able to pop it up in the infield. Got it underneath the bat and pops it up. Carlos Perez looks at a curveball for a strike. He's 0 for 1 tonight with a strikeout and a sacrifice bunt. Thirteen runs combined between the fourth and fifth innings. It's a lot of crooked numbers. A lot of hits too. Yeah. A lot of hits. Two balls, one strike. And strong throwing arm out in center field with Richick. Strong throwing arm in right field, Biscotti. Hazel Bacon playing a shallow left field. Important to get that secondary lead for CJ Crone if he's going to score on a base hit in the outfield. Perez lifts one out the left. Hazel Baker is down. That's the third out of the inning, but the Angels answer for two or with two. But in the sixth inning, Cardinals up eight to seven.
seven. Now it's time for the crickets. Something to smile about. See right here, the cat, the rally cat, flying through. Great stride. The quickness and into the stands. Finally picked up. Doing okay. Bring a lot of smiles from everybody in the stands. But the cat came flying on the field with great running skills. I don't recall Billy Chappell ever needing a rally cat running on the field for his perfect game. <laughs> See, I knew you loved that movie. Yeah. You brought it right back again. Matt Carpenter lead things off here in the sixth. Malley's back out on the bump. One inning, one hit, two walks for him so far. First pitch is in for a strike. Carpenter, one for three, a three-run home run in the fifth inning. By the way, the cat ran out there for the love of the game. That's why he ran out there. Just for the love of the game. Just for the love of the game. Nothing more. Nothing more. It's a simple cat. Yeah. Carpenter fouls this one back. 0 and 2. Eleven hits for the Angels. Ten for St. Louis. That's through five innings. See what the second half has in store. It's been action packed so far in the first half. It's basically old school American League baseball. When you look at the lineup for the Cardinals, they have an American League lineup playing in the National League. Two balls and two strikes. Home run for Carpenter in the fifth, the seventh of the season. Now with 25 runs batted in from TCU product. Lays off. This is a little loop route toward left center field. Trout is not going to get there. It'll fall in for a base hit. So it's a leadoff single for Carpenter. He's had a two for four game, and that's going to be it. As Mike Sosha comes out. Javi Guerra had been loosening. Javi will be coming on in relief here, but nobody out of the sixth inning of pitching change. Guerra will be the second reliever used by Sosha tonight. Cardinals on top, eight to seven. This telecast of Angels Baseball on Fox Sports West is brought to you by Mercury Insurance. On a mission to save you money, log on to mercuryinsurance.com today to get a fast, free quote and see how much you can save. And by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Javier Garrett takes over on the mound with nobody out here in the sixth inning and a man at first base. 
Javi pitched Tuesday through 22 pitches. Being told that uh, Cliff Pennington left the game today due to cramping in his left hamstring. That's why Brendan Ryan took over in the fifth. Big swing by Piscani. Fouls it straight back. Piscotti one for three, a single with a run score to the fifth. Those 22 pitches that Javi threw Tuesday did not retire batter. Faced four guys. A charge with two earned runs. Remember Gritchick touched for that home run the very first pitch in relief. Called up on Friday. Down at Triple A Salt Lake with a 1 0 record and a 2 19 ERA in 10 games. They're signing this offseason with the Angels. Three and one. Jose Alvarez up and loosening now for the Angels. Three and one pitch. Down straight back. Scotty is always on a fastball. Fastball at 91, upper part of the strike zone. Found straight back. Got plenty of time with the way this game's going. Eight seven on getaway day. This is fouled off to the right. Cow remains full. I just saw a beverage splash over yes. there on that foul ball. Unable to make the play. Two misses. That's a double whammy. Yes. I'm sure the folks down below appreciate it. Oh, there's no doubt. As long as it didn't go in the waffle cone. Big fan of the Waffle. Oh, game. yes. 3 2. We walked him. So, two on, nobody out. That'll bring up Matt Holiday. This guy brought to telecast is presented by Authority of the Los Angeles Angels. It may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. And the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of Angels Baseball LP. Holiday, two home runs. Three runs batted in. 21st multi homer game of his career. It was the last batter that Weaver faced. First one's down and in. Might be the last batter for a. Guerra with Alvarez ready to go. Adams on deck. Well, he's gotten some pitches in the last couple of bats right down the heart of the plate. And that's another one right there. I'm telling you, as uh, as odd as some of the swings were for the Cardinals, and understandable because of the off-speed stuff Weaver was featuring through the first three innings, they have backlegged, it seems, quite a bit of the last couple of innings. They have not been shy pulling the trigger just missed that's a pretty good pitch right there could have been called a strike it's 
Sosha looking in himself. There Fox tracks a breaking ball. Outer part of the plate on the outside corner. Three balls and a strike. Now more than likely has to go with a fastball. Back to back at bats for Matt Holliday. He's gotten a fastball and he's hit it extremely well, especially in his last home run. 3 1. <laughs> I think Holliday may have talked Jerry Davis into calling that a strike. Yeah, he goes, Yeah, that was a strike. <laughs> He turned right around. I don't think Davis was going to call it a strike. It was in the strike zone. Yeah, and he goes, yeah, yeah, he thought it was. Ah, yeah, if you're I'll call stay, it. I'll strike. Full count. But you're right, it was in the zone. One of both runners will be going here now. Nobody out here in the sixth. Payoff pitch. Runners don't go, and he ends up walking them. So Garrett comes in, walks two. They're loaded up now, and that's it for Garrett. Back to the bullpen we go. Jose Alvarez's turn. Sixth inning with nobody out. It's a one run Cardinal lead. Up to the Emerald City, take on the Seattle Mariners for three beginning tomorrow night or in a couple of hours, however you want to look at it. Nick Tropiano will be on the mound for the Angel against Nathan Carnes in the opener of that three game set. Newly acquired Jolice Chassin getting the start on Saturday night against Sasashi Wakuma, the Hector Santiago, Felix Hernandez Sunday afternoon. So Nick Tropiano has already flown up there to Seattle or has left by now to go to Seattle. Doesn't happen often, does it? No. But it makes sense. The Angels are tentatively scheduled to arrive in Seattle about 3 a.m. Jose Alvarez pitching in his 18th game. 0 and 1 record, 3.24 ERA. He's coming in to face Matt Adams with the bases loaded. Carpenter at third. Piscotti at second base. Holiday over at first. 8 to 7, St. Louis. We're in the sixth inning. Now this is the 13th straight game. The Angels have used four or more pitchers in a game. Carpenter belongs to Greg Malley. The other two base runners are Garris. Two balls and no strikes. Adams one for three with a single and a run scored in the fourth. Infield in for the Angels. Towards center field, that's going to get down for a hit. It'll bring home two, rounding second, and headed to third is Holiday. And it's 10 to 7, Cardinals. Matt Adams with a two RBI single. 
Well, you fall behind 2-0, oh, you're going to have to come in or throw a strike, and Adams didn't miss it. Again, like we said throughout this series against the Cardinals, they used the entire field. Fastball. Yeah, and he's just looking to drive the ball. His hands back very good. And Adams, single driving into his second hit of the game. Adams picks up his ninth and tenth run bat. It is. Book closed on Malley now, an inning plus a batter, two hits, two walks, one run. Now Yadier Molina, one for two with a double and a walk. Takes downstairs. Middle infielders back looking for a double play ball. Runners at first and third. Molina flares one out to shallow center field. Here comes Trout. He'll make the catch. One down. Just jammed them enough. To keep that fly ball from allowing Holiday to tag up on that one. Hazel Baker, the left fielder, now up. One for three tonight. Two RBI single in the fourth. Alvarez pitched Tuesday and threw seven pitches in that one, going two-thirds of an inning. Third reliever used by uh, Sosha. No balls, two strikes. Angel starter Jared Weaver not recording an out of the fifth. There's five batters. The capper being the uh, holiday home run. It's a straightaway center. Dribbler foul. Cal remains at 0 2. Short schedule around Major League Baseball. Boston over Houston tonight, 11 1. Yankees beat Kansas City, 7 3. Baltimore came back and defeated the Tigers. Tigers had a 5 0 lead at one point for 7 5 Orioles. The only other game that, uh, actually, two other games still currently being played. Diamondbacks trailing the Giants at Phoenix, 4 2. Dodgers leading the Mets 5 0. That game's in the ninth. Here it's 10 7 cards. That one's off the plate. Good Called pitch. strike three. Two down. Real good curveball from Alvarez. He locked him up, didn't he? Really smooth in his delivery. Starts inner part of the plate, down lower part of the strike zone. Big strikeout. Richick cuts through the first one. A cut action to it. Oh, 
Caught the inside corner. 0 oh 2. Angels at the bottom of the sixth inning. Have 9 1 and 2 coming up. Brendan Ryan for his first plate appearance, then Escobar and Calhoun. Wainwright might be done after five. 0 oh 2 pitch. Richard the chopper to short. Forced out Adams at second base. Inning is over, but the Cardinals add two. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth inning, 10 7 Cardinals. A score of 10 to 7, and Adam Wainwright's night has come to an end after five innings. He uh, gave up 11 hits, one home run, struck out three, walked one, and uh, seven runs. I think six are earned. And it's Sung Wan Oh, the South Korean 33 year old, taking over for Wainwright. And uh, Oh off to a, a nice start to his big league career after the Cardinal sign up back in January 17th game tonight. What a no record in a 1.65 ERA. Yeah, O's fastballs 90 94 slider occasional curveball solid split finger fastball 32 and 20 with a 1.81 ERA and 357 saves between Korea and Japan. Last two years pitching in Japan. He's the all time saves leader in the uh, Korean baseball organization with 277. Brendan Ryan's first plate appearance took over defensively. It's short, the fifth, for Cliff Pennington, who left with tightness in his left hamstring. Brennan got the start last night, went 0 for 3. 2 and 1. It was about 61 percent of his pitches are fastballs. Slider about 26 percent. 12 percent split. An occasional curveball. Two balls, two strikes. Last year, oh, 41 saves. 63 games for Hanshin. PCL Japan. He's got two nicknames, Final Boss and Stone Buddha. 2-2 Two -two gets Ryan for round number one. Stone wow. Buddha, I like Stone Buddha. Yeah, that's a good one. Monday key for this game. You like offense. This is what you came for. You've seen a lot of offense, especially in the last few innings. At the end of the game, looking for a pitching matchup with two guys that have won 20 games. Season in their career turned into be an offensive game. 
A lot of runs scored in the middle part of the game. Yunel Escobar two for three tonight with a single, a double, and a fielder's choice. This didn't look like Escobar was real comfortable in that swing with his wrist. A while to get back in that batter's box. Ground ball towards third. Carpenter has it. Two down. Didn't look real comfortable on that swing either. We'll see as he gets towards the dugout. Escobar has played every game this year at third base. I mentioned earlier, not a no off day for quite some time also. Yeah, Angels in the midst of 16 straight before the next off day. See Albert looking down. Talk to him. Good leverage on his fastball. It's been good, a good one so far. I'm trying to think if Escobar came out with Pennington out. Shane Robinson. You're not going to put Albert there and lose the DH. No. Bouncer toward first. Adams has it. Feeds O. And a 1 2 3 three inning. As the Angels go down in order. We head to seventh. Still 10 7 Cardinals. As we begin the seventh inning here at the Big A, new pitcher on the mound for the Angels, Corey Rasmus takes over for Jose Alvarez, who ended up lasting one inning, gave up one hit, but no runs. The hit ended up uh, costing the Angels two runs: one charge to uh, Malley, the other charge to Javi Guerra. And Rasmus now comes in to uh, pitch in his 11th game. He's got eight, nine, and one coming up: Wong, Diaz, and Carpenter for the Cardinals. It seems like Carpenter's got at least a boatload of the bats in this series. Colton Wong, one for two, a strike out, a single, and a walk.
bounce or foul. And the Cardinal hitters are extremely aggressive too. First pitch swinging. Yeah, very comfortable even behind in the count. Breaking pitch in there, beauty. One ball, one strike. Rasmus went one inning Tuesday night. One walk, one hit in that one. One ball, two strikes. Down even up now. Rasmus the fourth reliever. Malley for one. Guerra faced two batters. Alvarez for one. And now Rasmus here in the seventh. Wong fouls it back. Weaver knocked out in the fifth. Wainwright lasted just five. Seven runs, six earned. Two two. Pulled foul. It's the thirteenth time in Wainwright's career that he's allowed seven runs at a start. The Cardinals are one and eleven. Previous say, 12. Probably didn't have many games where he was in position to pick up a W. When you go five innings, to give up seven runs. And that fifth wasn't easy for him to complete either. No. As the Angels came back and made it a one run deficit. They scored twice against them. We got Carlos Perez at the fly ball to left to end the fifth. Full count. Yeah, two starters with the uh, pretty good histories, but different stages in their career now. Wong chops this one to second. Giavatel is there. One away. And now time for T-Mobile greater coverage of baseball. Arizona versus San Francisco. Johnny Cueto, Zach Greinke, big free agent signings for both clubs, but Cueto getting the best of it so far. Greinke at ERA over five this season. Red Sox with 11 more runs. The team ever with 11 or more runs in four straight games. And Kansas City loses again. The Yankees have been three of four. The Yankees hit nine home runs in that ballpark. The new Yankee Stadium, the good home run hitting ballpark in New York. Man, you sound excited about that home run porch. <laughs> now that I don't have to pitch in there. Diaz takes down low. One for three tonight for the Cardinal shortstop. He singled and scored in the fifth. Foul back one of one. Cardinals with 12 hits, the Angels with 11. He's a bounce for through the right side of base hit. Multi hit game now for Diaz. And a man on for Matt Carpenter. Well, that youngster can hit. 25 years of age. First taste of big league life. Looks very comfortable at the plate. Again, he's not even on this team if Peralta isn't hurt. That's the amazing thing about him.
Carpenter a two for four game. Lays off, takes a strike. We've seen another shift on right here. With three fielders on the right side of the infield. So far this year, the hitters are starting to make adjustments to hitting against the shift. Last year, 246 batting average. So far this year, 253. You knew at some point the hitters were going to go back and make an adjustment going the other way. 1-1 one, one pitch. Down and hit. Corey's brother Colby, a first round pick of the Cardinals back in 2005. That's a cool foul. Both Rasmus brothers, first round picks. Corey by the Braves, 2006. Two, two. Down and in, full count. So they call their father in the Angels minor league system. Colby's gotten off to a, a quick start for the Astros. Pretty good numbers already this season. Followed up that fantastic postseason he had. Diaz on the move. They got him picked off. A third to second and out at second. He was going on a 3-2 count and just jumped the gun. Two down. Quickly fired it over as quick as possible. Then a good quick throw from Crone and the tag on the knee by Brendan Bryan. Three, two. And he walked him. Brings up Piscotti, the right fielder. Every fan matters to the Angels take on the Orioles Friday, May 20th at 7.05. Fans in attendance will receive a commemorative trout wall catch figurine, courtesy of Cox Communications while supplies last. Visit angels.com slash promotions to get your tickets today. Well, the Cardinals just continue to get those base runners. Well, Scotty Fowles went back off the shoulder of Carlos. No balls and a strike. Five walks in the game by Cardinal hitters, along with 13 hits. So a lot of base runners. It's a lot of base runners throughout this entire series. Yep. Yeah, I kind of went through the book real quick, Gooby. This is a quick count. Now with that walk, the Carpenter 51 base runners for St. Louis in the series. But we knew that going in that they were red hot as far as the offense is concerned. And even when they've been behind in the counts, they've had some good swings. And they've used the entire field. No balls and two strikes on Piscotti. Breaking ball got him looking. That'll do it for the Cardinals here in the seventh. Stretch shot here at the big eight. Trout will lead things off for the Angels. When we come back, the Angels down 10 7.
Trout leading off for the Eagles in the bottom of the seventh. The spark needed, the power, the swing, the energy that Trout provides. Trying to come back in this game as the Angels are down to the Cardinals 10 to 7. Saw the rally cat running earlier. See if Mike Trout can do some running now. Oh, back out of the bump for his second inning of work. The first one is a strike on the outside corner or close to it. Trout a one for two game with a ground out of walk and a single with a run scored. There's a slider from O. A swing and miss pitch though. Has to go to his split finger fastball. With some action, trying to hit that ball out to the trout farm. Trout goes down swinging on the high fastball. One away. After a slider down the way, goes upstairs with a 93 mile an hour fastball. Who does a great job as far as squaring up his shoulders? He is a strong pitcher who drives very well towards the plate to create that leverage to get that fastball 93 to 94. And got to use that leverage, all five foot 10 inches of him. Time was called as he started his winder. He's not afraid to throw that fastball either. Oh. Albert 0 for 3. A couple of ground outs and a strikeout. Shoots one out toward left center field. That will get down for base hit. So a one out single for Albert puts a man on for Nava. Albert now three for 23 versus his former team. Daniel Nava, though. He had a big game, especially his last couple of bats. Nava with a home run of the fourth inning, a single with a run scored in the fifth inning. Both off of Adam Wainwright. First base runner against O. Cardinal pitchers have retired six straight since the Crone RBI double in the fifth. <laughs> Top part of the strike zone or thereabouts. And it's one of one. In Nava, back in the fourth inning. It's Adam Wainwright. That fastball in her half. It's a very good leverage and lift to hit that one out for his first home run as an angel. One, two, towards short. Diaz will take it himself. And I don't know why he did. They called him out. Wow. That certainly looked like Nava was across the bag. But that play took forever to develop. 
Wong was there, but Diaz took it himself, so she'll have a look at it down low. Everyone's kind of staying around on the field here as Socia waits. Well, that's real. He might have taken a look at this one. Foot no, on the base. Safe. Yeah, he's safe. Yeah, they're yeah. going to challenge the call. Have to. That foot looks like it's on the base before it's caught. And Matt Adams at first base. Keeps the inning going potentially. Cardinals have made some defensive mistakes. The Angels just have not been able to capitalize. They did so in the uh, fifth inning on the error by Piscani and Wright. Good angle right here is the foot on the base just as the baseball is going in the glove. This shouldn't take too long. I mean, that's your that's your angle right there. Yeah, that's all you need to see. CJ Crone an opportunity to swing the bat. He's got back to back doubles. Not only did Diaz take it himself when he shouldn't have, he didn't he didn't rocket the, the throw no. to first base and either. We, and we've seen him with a good throwing arm to begin with. This should get overturned, you would think. And it does. The Angels can take advantage of that mistake by the Cardinals. He has been short. Two outs and a man at first, and Crone coming up. A couple of doubles and an RBI for CJ. No balls in the strike. Kind of a hanging slider right over the middle part of the plate. And now behind in the count for CJ Crow. Now you shorten up the swing and trying to make contact, put it in play. Nice job of hitting the ball. Very well the other way, last at bat. Off the end of the bat foul. Molina wanted that pitch a little bit further away just based on where he was set up. Yeah, that was a mistake pitch 0 2 fastball. One ball, two strikes. Short lead for Nava at first base. I believe it to count. Full count. So now we'll get a head start from first base with two outs.
Giovatel is on deck. 28 pitches for Oak. Jonathan Bronx is ready to go on the Cardinals bullpen if necessary. Nava takes off and Crone flips one over to second base. Colton Wong has it. And the Angels are done here in the seventh. One to the eighth inning with the Cardinals up 10 to 7. Cardinals leading the Angels 10 to 7. Patrick O'Neill here with you. This is yet another game that the Angels are chasing. Something we've seen certainly throughout this homestand. Stick around after the game and join myself and Jose Moda, Alex Curry as well. A short and sweet Angels Live. It's a getaway. Perhaps the Angels will have some magic in store or the Rally Cat will come to the rescue. That Rally Cat earlier in the game showing an incredible speed and leaping ability. I can report Victor and Mark, the cat has been taken to an adoption center. He's safe and sound. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Patrick. That's a great update. We were looking oh. forward to that one. Folks at home were wondering what happened to the kitty cat. Uh, Holiday Adams and Molina here in the eighth for St. Louis. Holiday with a couple of home runs and a walk. A bouncer foul. Rasmus in his second inning of work. A hit, a walk, and a strike out of the seventh. One ball, two strikes. St. Louis with 10 runs, 13 hits, one error, and seven left. Dom, the Angels, seven runs, 12 hits. Are stranded five base runners. Bouncer foul. Lays off. It's a pretty good take. That was a nasty curveball from Rasmus. And they're real comfortable even behind in the count. And again, you're talking about a team that's been locked in for a while offensively. 2-2. Two -two. He rolls this with foul. Cardinals average about 5.5 runs per game. The Angels 3.43 per game. 
Cardinals in National League Club. He played a few games in interleague play. This is down the right field line. That is a base hit. Cole over to cut it off. Holiday will stop it first. Lead off single for the Cardinals DH. Brings up Matt Adams. Multi hit game for Adams, two for four. It's the first one. Off speed. Two RBI single for him in the uh, sixth inning of his last at bat. Foul back. Got on the off speed pitch, one down. <laughs> Follow Angels Baseball live with MLB.com at bat app. Stay up to the moment at any moment with game day, live game, video highlights, stat cast, news, and more. Download MLB.com at bat, the number one app for live baseball on your phone or tablet. One out, one on. Got here Molina at the plate. Foul. Nice play down there. That's why you bring the glove. Yep. Lefty. And Mike Trout jersey. <laughs> that big smile. And the fist pump. Toward right center field, it gets down for another hit. And anything up in the strike zone against Molina has been hit extremely hard the entire season. Multi hit games in all three games of the series. Look back coming into this series, the upper part of the strike zone around 400 batting average. This is a 93 mile an hour fastball. Brings his hands up and then through the baseball, level swing on a high fastball. For a guy that nobody thought would be ready to start the season. Yep. Hazel Baker went around. Not fully committed, but still went around. The left fielder, one for four, had a two RBI single in the fourth. Got some fans. Hazel Baker, get it, Bay? Yeah. Yeah, you're into that kind of stuff, right? <laughs> you're hip with the lingo. Oh, no question. Ground ball to second. Giovatella flips it to Ryan for one and can't get the ball out of the glove. So safe at first. <laughs> Two outs now. Runners at the corners for Christian. Again, you want to feed your shortstop going with momentum going, not to reach back and then have to throw across. Hazel Baker runs well. A little quicker on the feed. He threw that inning with no damage. You still have some work to do with Gritchick up. One for four game for Gritchick. Hazel Baker takes off, ball gets away from Carlos, but Matt Holliday stays at third. A stolen base for Hazel Baker. His third has been caught twice.
breaking ball. Tried to scoop and throw all in one motion. Fortunately enough for the Angels, it didn't get too far away from him, allow run to score. On the corner. Halos at the bottom of the eighth. Have Giovatella, Perez, and Bryant coming up the bottom third of their order. Looks like they'll face Broxton after O oh, went two shutout innings. Slope. There's Broxton. Cardinals signing him to a two year deal in the offseason. Fouled off. Two balls, two strikes. Halos had the early lead in the third, 2 0 against Wainwright. We see the Cardinals come back to three in the fourth. And it was a little heavyweight fight there between the Angels and the Cardinals in the fourth, fifth. 13 total runs combined between the two clubs. Eight seven lead for St. Louis. And then uh, they added two in the sixth inning. To make it 10 7, that's where we stand now. Just off the plate, full count. Another good break of ball that just missed that outside corner. Three, two. He walked them. So they're loaded up now. And Colton Wong coming up. Mike Sosha. He's going to go to the bullpen. That's going to be it for Rasmus at 40 pitches in an inning and two thirds. Campadrosia coming out of relief. 10 7, St. Louis.
tomorrow night in Seattle. Tropiano, one and two with a 3.69 ERA, takes on the Mariners. Ethan Carnes, he came over in that tray with the Tampa Bay Rays, three and one with a 3.38 ERA. And tomorrow night up at Safeco Field. Gamba Drosian takes over on the mound here with the bases loaded in the eighth inning. Two outs. And Colton Wong coming to the plate. Tenth game for Cam. He pitched Wednesday, last night. Eight pitches. Holiday at third base. Hazel Baker at second. And Gritchick at first. Good speed as far as the trail runners are concerned. The Drosian trying to keep it a three run deficit. Upstairs with the breaking ball. 1 0. Long to second base with a 1 for 3 game with a single and a walk. One ball, one strike. Chopper back to the mound. Cam's got it. Inning comes to an end, so no damage. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth inning. Bottom third coming up for the Angels, down 10-7. Ten to seven here in the bottom of the eighth. Let's go back to the fourth inning when the Rally Cat made his appearance. The grace, the speed of slow the Rally motion. Cat. It's slow motion. Oh, that's fantastic. Not to be confused with Smelly Cat. Lisa Kudrow and friends. The Rally Cat trying to get the team rolling. Safe in good shape right now. We were told and Jonathan Broxton in the game now for the Cardinals. Dropped a friends reference here in the eighth inning. Yes. We must be past the three hour mark in the ballgame. <laughs> Giavatella looks at a strike. Broxton's fastball is still firm fastball at 91 to 96. Slider changeup. Fourteenth game for Broxton with St. Louis. No record of 277 ERA. Thirteen strikeouts, but ten walks in 13 innings of work. Oh, 
Two balls and a strike. Johnny one for three, a single with a run score to the fourth. Broxton now 31 years of age. Originally a second round pick by the Dodgers in 02. Two balls, two strikes. Rocks had finished last year with St. Louis, which in 26 games and pitched well for him. Ended up re-signing with them in the offseason. This one's grounded to the right side. Adams to Broxton. That is some size yeah, that, right there. Say, that's, an op, that's an offensive line. No doubt. Pulling guard at a tackle. <laughs> So one out, nobody on, and Carlos Perez coming up. Carlos over for two. Broxton, 39 and 35 in his career with a 3-2-2 ERA and 118 saves. Last recorded to save, 2014 with the Reds. Dodgers, Royals. Reds, Brewers, and Cardinals. And then upper part of the strike zone there at 95. One one. One and two. Slider missing down and away. Two balls, two strikes. Brennan Ryan on deck. 2 2 on the way. Carlos fouls with back. Come on, Jim Edmonds. Oh. <laughs> we see Jimmy Evans make so many outstanding plays. He wanted no part of it. No. He didn't even move. Says I got gold gloves. I don't have a glove, so I don't have to try to make the play. That being said, John Reynolds, the stage manager over there on the uh, St. Louis Cardinals broadcast, may have soiled his pants. <laughs> he was a little nervous on that one. Yeah, he was. Here's Jr. Oh, <laughs> cover up. Oh. <laughs> 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 Brennan Ryan struck out in the sixth inning. Took over defensively at shortstop for Cliff Pennington. Pennington leaving the game with tightness in his left hamstring. And Brennan gets in the one to left. Hazel Baker is there. And the inning comes to an end. Giovanni Soda come out to the on deck circle, so you wonder if he goes over to third for Yanel Escobar as the Angels trail at 10 7.
to take a look at the top tier play of the game brought to you by Arco. Carpenters had a very good series. Big home run there, three home runs in the series. That big home run off of Weaver, right down that right field line. And they have the plate, got the curveball. Had an outstanding series. Pedrosian back out on the bump, 9 1 2 here for the St. Louis Cardinals, up 10 7. First fastball upstairs. Giovanni Soto takes over at third. Second career appearance in the big leagues at third base. So clearly something was bothering Yunel Escobar in his last uh, plate appearance in the sixth. He grounded out the third. The Angels lost uh, tonight with Pennington due to tightness in his hamstring, and now Escobar. We don't uh, appear to be something to do with the uh, the hands, the wrist area. Just the way he came up lame on one of the swings. Had a lot of action over at third base, a lot of diving. There's a strike two and one. Get you an update at some point if we get it. If not, maybe on Twitter. Or maybe you get it on Angel Live after the game. Yeah. Diaz, two for four with a couple of singles. Three balls, one strike. This one out to right. One away. And clearly, you would think that it's taking. Uh, Escobar out of the game because there's something wrong. I mean, you look at a three run deficit, yes. he's leading off the next inning. And one and of the most Calhoun and Trout. And so. One of the most consistent hitters Mike right. Sosha's had all year. This is a, one of those games where you're you know down six and you just kind of get him off his feet or whatever. Matt Carpenter, two for four with a home run, three run shot in the fifth inning and a single. It's also walked. Breaking ball for strike one. Three home runs in the series for Carpenter. Now with seven on the season. One ball, two strikes. Georgia came in and got the last down of the eighth inning with the bases loaded, getting Colton Wong to bounce one back to the mound. Cam's a fifth reliever used by Mike Sosha. Weaver unable to get out of the fifth inning, did not record an out in the fifth. Upstairs, two balls, two strikes. Jared giving up eight runs, nine hits in those four innings. Wainwright, the starter for St. Louis, seven runs, six earned on 11 hits in five innings. He's still the pitcher record for St. Louis. Down goes Carpenter, two down. 96 mile hour fastball. Good life on that one. Throws you on the outside part of the plate. See on top of that well, shoulders squared up, eyes on the target. And good movement. The 96 mile hour fastball. One ball, no strikes. Piscotti, one hit tonight, one for four. Single with a run scored in the fifth. Walked and scored in the sixth.
16 pitches thrown for Cam. Eight strikes, eight out of the strike zone. Two one. Down and in. Three balls and a strike. Matt Holliday on deck. Top of the order coming up. It'll be Soto, Calhoun, and Trout for the Angels. Full count. Payoff pitch now. This is pulled over to third. Soto's got it. Low throw. And Crowe cannot handle it. That ball was hit hard right at Soto at third base. Nice job as far as his prep step. There on it. Then straightened up on the throw, then the low throw. That's an error on C.J. Crone, they're saying. I guess because of the long hop, I'm assuming. If it stands, it'll be the third error for uh, C.J. So Matt Holliday will bat with two outs and a man on. Three-hit game for the Cardinal D.H. Up and away. Two home runs and a single no walk. He's been on board four times. Got a three hit game Tuesday. Hitless last night. He came out swinging the bat tonight. That's pass thrown into right of base hit. The Scotty will stop at second. He's a four hit game. For Holiday, including two home runs. That was a breaking pitch that was up. Stayed back on it well. And a rocket by Crone and Biscotti. Sixteenth hit for St. Louis tonight. Here's Matt Adams, multi hit game for the first baseman, two for five. Every starter with at least one hit tonight for St. Louis. As Adams looks at a strike. One ball, one strike. Long one tonight, down three here in the ninth. Two balls, one strike. And with a long flight coming up. The Seattle club is playing very, very well right now. Off today. Eight games over 500, Seattle. 21 and 13. Yeah, Seattle, Texas, and Oakland all idle today. 2 1 count, two outs, two on. Adams grounds one up the middle, and that will sneak through for a base hit. Holiday will come in to score. me. Piscotti will come in to score. Holiday to second. And it's an 11 7 lead. Adams picks up his third RBI of the night. Big error comes back to haunt. Mm -hmm. 
That fastball was below the strike zone. But Adams, a very good low ball hitter. It's that through for an RBI single. There are three, four hitters with seven combined hits. Yadier Molina with a multi hit game. Two for four. Second first pitch fouls it off. Count of one ball, one strike. Some Cardinal fans started the Yachty chant down the right field line. One of those clubs that travel well as far as fan support. Takes a strike. One or two. You've got to be real careful. You go upper part of the strike zone against Molina. Even behind in the count, 351 batting average coming into the game for Molina. He was his fourth best in the majors. Now, time call, but Carlos going out. Twenty eight pitches thrown by Bedrosian. They tied the first two and should have had the third out on the ground ball to Soto, but Giovanni playing the second career game at third base. One hop to throw to first, and Crone couldn't come up with it. Holiday then single, and Adams brought home a run with a base hit. The one two. Down low. Two balls, two strikes. A lot of time in between pitches for Cam. 2 2 now. Ground ball right side. That'll sneak through for a base hit. Holiday is being waved in. The throw from Calhoun to the plate is on the first base side. Hits Jerry Davis. Molina will advance to second. Adams ends up at third. It's 12 to 7. Almost looked as if there was indecision there with C.J. Crone deciding to go to his right. Again, we mentioned that the other night. If you're breaking to your right at that point, aren't you taking, going after the baseball? Yeah, at that point you have to. You have to trust your pitcher is going to be there at first base for coverage. And so she's forced to go back down. Looks like he may be going back down to the bullpen again. Another pitching change. Three straight hits after the error. We're in the ninth inning, and it's all Cardinals tonight.
TV, you can now stream games live on your mobile device. Just go to your app store, download the free Fox Sports Go app, log in, stream the Angels wherever you go. It is 12-7, St. Louis. Fernando Salas, the former Cardinal, comes on in relief. 16th game for Fernando. 2-1 record at 2-12 ERA. And what that error does, not only do the, the unearned runs come across, they don't get charged of Bedrosian, but it forced him to throw a lot of pitches tonight. And as you start looking ahead, we mentioned no off day for quite some time. The Angels in the midst of 16 straight. You wonder if Bedrosian would be even available for tomorrow night's game. And it's a it's a day to day thing now with this Angels bullpen. We mentioned the amount of innings that this bullpen has thrown. You can add to that total tonight. Not only innings, it's pitches, the amount of pitches thrown. And getting up once yeah. or twice before getting in the games. Hazel Baker pops it up. Shallow center, Brendan Ryan going out. Trout coming in. Trout with the call and the catch inning over. We'll head to the bottom of the ninth inning. Top of the order coming up, 12-7, St. Louis. Twelve hits tonight, uh, but only seven runs. And I say only because the St. Louis Cardinals have scored 12. It's a nice offensive outburst for the Angels in the middle part of the game, third, fourth, and fifth innings. But uh, overall, just uh, the pitching unable to hold it. Thus, uh, we play in the bottom of the ninth with a five-run deficit. Giovanni Soto to lead things off. He's batting for Yunel Escobar. Escobar taken out of the game with uh, some sort of injury. That's why Soto was over at third base. They'll face Seth Manus. Comes on in relief, the sinker baller. Pitching in his 13th game, 0-1 record, a 4.38 ERA. And his fastball's going to be 85 to 89 range slider. Changeup, he is a ground ball specialist. Giovanni hitting 277 on the year, three home runs, seven runs batted in, fouls that one back. It's 0-2. Soto pulls one down the line. That's a fair ball toward the corner. Giovanni on his way toward second. Hazel Baker's throw is not a time. So it's a double for Giovanni. His third of the season. Hit the ball well late, too. It's an extra base power. And then I would break down the line. It started for the Halos here. Cole comes up with nobody out. One for four. He had a two RBI single in the third inning. 
Shoots this one down the line, just foul. Taking aim at that left field corner. See, just been right down the line, looking at that baseball, and just this is touching the chalk down the line. Close this one foul. No balls and two strikes on Calhoun with Trout on deck. The rally hats working. We had the rally cat early. Now we got the rally hats. Ground ball, and that's past Wong. It's a base hit. It'll bring in Soto. It's a 12 8 Cardinal lead. Three RBI night for Calhoun. Hit the ball well to the middle part of the field, left center, right center. The high changeup, stay back on it well. Put that foot down as far as his timing mechanism. And an RBI single. Trout takes one low. Mike one for three, a single with a run score of the fifth inning. Cover Rosenthal, who's up and loosening already. He's ready to go in the bullpen for St. Louis if necessary. One ball, one strike. Two and one. Made his last year's 76 games for the Cardinals. A career best, 4 2 and a 4 2 6 ERA. 11th round pick by the Cardinals in 2011. That's lined and gloved by Diaz. Wow, what a play by the shortstop. Robbing Trout of a base hit. One down. That baseball was by him when he caught that. What an impressive play by the youngster. Saw that swing he's had in this series, but what a defensive play. That prep step in position, that ball is by him. And it's all, you know, on its way to the outfield grass, but what a play. Hard to find a better play in baseball tonight on that one. And defensively, that was an outstanding play. Johnny Peralta's not getting to that ball. No. 107 miles per hour off the bat. You talk about quick reaction. Yep. Albert Pujols, one for four, singled in the seventh. And it's been a long game, a lot of base runners. To be able to react that quickly to catch a baseball off about 107 miles an hour. Albert drives one out towards center field. Bridget moving back. He's at the wall. Leaps up and it's gone. A big fly for Albert Pujols. 567th of his career. And the Angels are down two. He is now a homer against every club in baseball. All 30 teams. For Albert Pools with that home run, his first career home run against the Cardinals. 30 teams, 30 home runs against them. That'll force Mike Matheny to come out, and he's going to go to the bullpen. Fastball was down, and that's the pitch that he's had a tough time with this season so far. A pitch down in the strike zone, but not on that swing. It just gets it over the glove. It just touches the glove, it looks like, by like Gritchick. Pitching change here in the ninth. The Angels trail at 12 to 10.
Trevor Rosenthal takes over here with one out. The base is clear. Cardinals up 12-10. Here's the pool hole swing to drew the Angels with it, too. Yeah, pitched down and out over the plate. He's had a couple good swings as far as using the middle part of the field. This one over the fence in center field for Pujols. Just beyond the reach of Randall Gritchick yes, at center. Got real close to that one. Rosenthal pitched last night, picked up the save, had two strikeouts. He's got six saves on the season. This is his 12th game. And with one out, the base is clear. It's Daniel Nava to play. Nava, two for four with a home run and a single. Two runs scored. Rosenthal can be wild. Very good fastball, 95 to 99. Slider, very good changeup. What happened last night, he retired the first two batters, then walked the next two. As Johnny ended up flying out to the left to end the game. Two balls, no strikes. A 10 run scored by the Angels. The season high. You got to find a way to win this game, though. You need a base runner right here from Nava. Get on base any way you can. Two and one. Crones on deck. Two one. Three balls and a strike. In this game, neither manager comfortable with any lead. Nava takes a strike, full count. Good take, though. He's comfortable with two strikes. Always has been. He's always seen a lot of pitches for Nava. Payoff on the way. Nava works the walk, so a man on will bring up the tying run of C.J. Crone. And see the power of the Rally Cat. Made his appearance in the fourth inning. The grace, the speed of the Rally Cat. See if it works magic. Angels win this game. We have to adopt that cat. Oh, He's no, got to live in the booth yeah, the rest of the oh, season. That, I'm fine with that. Take him on the road trips and everything. Perfect. You sit between us on the plane, Goob. Yes, there's room. One ball, no strikes. Crone with a couple of doubles and an RBI. Two for four. You know, we talked about it before with Molina. Max is almost a second pitching coach. Knows what time, what time to go out and talk to a pitcher. And there's times with Rosenthal, he does have a good fastball, but he will overthrow the fastball. Crone last night walked against Rosenthal. The rally caps going. Old Land Shark. One zero pitch upstairs off speed. Yeah, he came with a changeup. He'll do that to try to get back to solid mechanics. And that's elevated. Now for C.J. Crone, you're looking fastball right here, middle, middle in, and try to do some damage. Now feel the normal depth for St. Louis. Guarding the line is Carpenter at third base. 2-0. Bouncing that one. Where's Nava going? Get back to first. That's another changeup. You're not doing anything. That's three balls and no strikes. Not with that arm behind the plate. No. Not even the tying run. <laughs> no. Albert with that home run, all 30 teams. Let's hit a home run again. Giavatella on deck. Here's a 3-0. Walked up. A 3-0 breaking ball. 
So he tried back-to-back -back change up with a slider. So Johnny Givatella will bow the two on and one out. Johnny made the last out last night with a fly ball to left on a 3-2 count. Similar situation with runners at first and second, but with two outs last night. Tonight it's one out. He represents the winning run. Now it's second, curled at first. Inside. One ball to strikes. Segrist, the lefty, getting ready now. And look, 11 pitches thrown, nine out of the strike zone. Cardinal fan. Outfield. Nervous now. Outfield playing shallow with Giovatella at the plate. Tying run at first base, and that's C.J. Krohn. There's the 1-0 pitch. Two balls, no strikes, and Rosenthal Jones. cannot find the zone. Here comes Matheny. I think he yanks him here in a 2-0 count. He's missed a, by a lot. And this is when it helps being a former catcher. You're going to go out and try to get some kind of verbiage where you feel comfortable leaving him in. Been there before it always helps being a former catcher as a manager you go out there with a pitcher and ask him something he gives you the right answer he's going to be comfortable leaving you in if not he would have went to the bullpen he, he got what he was looking for now if you're johnny you're looking just in one spot i mean make him home at this point i almost make him throw a strike Three runs in, 12-10, St. Louis. 2-0 count on Givatella with one out. Upstairs, 3-0. And, oh. and it's Carlos Perez on deck. And he walked up. The bases are loaded. Talk about an odd game. Well, this has certainly been that. The team has seen enough. That's going to be it for Trevor Rosenthal, the closer. Seacrest will be called upon here. The Angels have loaded him up after scoring three runs. They get within two. The Tiger run in scoring position. A pitching change. 12-10 St. Louis. Bases loaded for the Halos. Back in the fourth inning, the Rally Cat makes an appearance. A big inning, the fourth inning, in which the Angels scored three runs. The power of the Rally Cat. Does he still have it in him to bring home three more? Start thinking of a name, Gooby. I will. You get the name. 
We don't know what it is, boy or girl, whatever. We'll Set Norm right to the adoption agency. Yeah. Go pick up the kid again. No doubt. <laughs> It's been an insane game. Oh, my. Seeger is pitching the 17th game. 4 0 record at 2.57 ERA. Had six saves last year, no saves this year. Bases loaded. Nob at third. Crow the tying run at second. Giavatello the winning run at first base. The outfield very, very shallow all the way around. Hazel Baker, Richick, and Piscotti from left to right. It's Carlos at the plate, 0 for 3 with a sack bunt. Seager's fastball is 90-95, slider, changeup. First one on the way from the big lefty. He's in there for a strike. A very drivable pitch there. Molina wanted that on the outside corner, drifted on the inner half. Carlos has had a walk-off home run. As a matter of fact, in his first big league game, he accomplished that feat. Molina set up outside. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Carlos is swinging a miss. Stayed away from the all speed pitch. As shallow as that outfield is, if he can hit a ball into the gap, the Angels are going to end up winning this game. Yeah. Brendan Ryan on deck. Here comes the 0-2. Carlos fouls it back. Mistake pitch there. Fouled it straight back. Go change up. Away now, try to flare that one in the right field. It's been a tough go offensively this year for Carlos Perez. This would be a big time to get a hit. Go two now, downstairs, lays off the changeup. Good to see the fans into this game. A lot of rally caps. A big error at the top of the inning, Gooby. Oh, they're bringing it back. There they are. Angels in the outfield. Two unearned runs for St. Louis in the top of the ninth. One, two. This is fouled off. Back to the off speed pitch. And he left it up a little bit. Boy, in this inning, the way it's played out so far, how about that play by Diaz at shortstop on that missile hit by Trout? And that baseball was by him when he caught that line drive. Off the bat of Trout, yeah. 107 miles per hour off the bat. Hit speed. One, two, called strike three on the inside part of the plate. Carlos looking away, two down. Great location, his fastball going inside. And look where Molina sets up. He's making sure he doesn't, if he's going to miss, he's going to be off the plate in. He gets it right on the corner. Brendan Ryan gets called back. Shane Robinson will pinch hit for him here. Which would lead to some... Uh, Really interesting defensive maneuvering for Mike Sosha should the Angels tie this game. Pennington out of the game. Tightness at his hamstring. Escobar with some sort of injury that taken out of the game. And now Ryan taken out for a pinch hitter. And Robinson, the former Cardinal, two for six, joining the Angels. All three outfielders still very shallow for St. Louis. All three base runners going on contact if Robinson puts the ball in play. The two outs. Fouls the first one off. He's ready for that fastball. He's supposed to be inside. That time he missed location. Robinson three for ten in his career with the bases loaded. Takes low. There's the off-speed pitch. It's a deceptive off-speed pitch with all arms and legs yeah. coming at you from Seagrass. Yeah, you can't see the baseball real well out of his hand. 
six foot five left handed. Here's the one one off speed popped him up. First base side Molina and Adams it's Molina making the catch of the Angels leave them loaded here in the ninth and get swept by the St. Louis Cardinals tonight the final 12 to 10. Well, a golden opportunity there in the ninth bases loaded down by two one out a great play by Diaz against Trout on that line drive. St. Louis 18 hits 12 runs will hold on pull out the victory and the sweep. Wainwright ends up picking up the win going five innings. Jared Weaver suffers a loss. Segrist picks up his first save of the season. 12-10 the final. The Cardinals win it. Stick around. Angels live. Post game is coming up next.